No! Fears are coming true. So it's like only a week or so until Andor comes out, like 12 days. And we haven't gotten any update yet on the Bad Batch, which is supposed to come out the day the fourth episode of Andor comes out. And that doesn't mean the fourth week. That just means the second week on the 28th because we're getting three episodes of Andor on the 21st. So this article says Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 gets new release date, but is it real? So even they don't know. And most articles don't. Most, most YouTubers don't. We're just figuring out like you guys, you know, well, I am. I can't speak for other people. Nearly every Star Wars streaming title not named The Mandalorian has had a scheduling reshuffle, and The Bad Batch appears to be no exception, with Andor being pushed back to a three-episode premiere on September 21st. Many have speculated that Lucasfilm is holding Bad Batch back a bit to create more separation between this the year's final shows, but that delay could be far more significant than anyone expected. A new rumor suggests that The Bad Batch second season may not be happening in 2022 at all, but rather on the flip side of the new year. Bad Batch Season 2 rumored for January 2023 release. A new listing on Disney on Disney.pl has The Bad Batch Season 2 debuting in all regions on January 4th, 2023. The information was retrieved from scanned code on Disney+. Plus. Okay, so it's actually kind of legit then. This serves as a direct contradiction to a since-removed post on the red carpet shared via Disney Plus info, which stated that the season is still planned for a September 28th release. Is the January release date real? Talk of the Bad Batch Season 2's release date has been a head spinner. After months of uncertainty, any doubts about the September 28th premiere were seemingly put to bed recently. With the Disney PL listing not thrown into the equation, identifying the release without further official word has become an impossible task. Dropping the series on September 28th seemed entirely plausible when Andor was initially scheduled to debut at the end of August, but the show's pivot to a September 21st premiere makes for a crunch. Scheduling, which is right, like, I mean, there's no way they're gonna release Andor the same day as The Bad Batch. They're always worried about, like, you know, getting their shows the most eyes, so they shift stuff around, and there's no way in hell that they would ever release two Star Wars projects on the same exact day. Scheduling Disney, Disney Plus releases has become a juggling between the various Star Wars and Marvel projects on the horizon, with avoiding internal competition being paramount. Still, a delay of four months seems a bit er egregious. Andor is on track to finish its first season of streaming in late November, leaving an open window for the final month and a half of the year of The Bad Batch. At some point, Tales of the Jedi figures to be in the mix as well, but the anthology of shorts could end up being a single day release, which we're going to get all of them, unless they want to spread it out. Unless the series isn't finished, a January release makes little sense. There's bound to be Star Wars overlap eventually, be it with Andor and the Bad Batch, or the latter intersecting the Mandalorian Season 3, which is slated for February 2023. So this is also where I get concerned. If they're releasing, releasing the Bad Batch in January, that's 16 weeks of the Bad Batch. You're telling me a month after that they're going to release The Mandalorian Season 3? So The Mandalorian is going to be delayed now by probably like freaking three or four months. That would be ridiculous. I mean, look, I'm not going to jump to conclusions, but they need to get their stuff in order. They got to get their house in order because this is not fair to people. This is not fair to fans. They're really extending the Disney Plus membership and making you pay extra just to get the shows that were supposed to come out months ahead of time not even just one or two months but four months ahead of time and i think that's really frustrating as a star wars fan and as someone who is paying for disney plus i know for many people they're juggling you know do i get netflix do i get disney plus and that's not really okay one thing's for sure clone force 99 isn't returning to screens this month lucasville may have a spotty history with marketing but the company has never dropped a project in 20 days without any promotion whatsoever while a january release would be a painful wait it may be what fans have to accept when an official announcement will surely come from D23 this weekend. Damn. Yeah, so I mean, Saturday we're going to get more information. And that's just unfortunate because I was looking forward to the Bad Batch Season 2 happening this year. You know, I mean, at least release it in December. And, you know, it'll be three months. And take us into February with maybe a month overlap of The Mandalorian Season 3, making it four months. 16 weeks. And, okay, cool. Unless you release, like, several episodes the first day of the launch, the premiere. But I just think it's kind of spotty, man. Like, what? Like, why are you guys constantly delaying stuff and moving stuff around? Like, I know it has to do with money. At least I speculate it has to do with money. And wanting your shows to 
extend along the timeline as much as you can so that you extend your Disney Plus subscription. I get it. You need subscriptions in order to make more shows, in order to make more money, and to, you know, pay for all the things that go into making these millions and millions of dollar projects. But at the same time, just give us concrete dates, you know? Star Wars has been all over the place since Disney bought it, and I just want some proper planning for once, you know? Like, don't give us these false dates and then be like, oh, you know, it's delayed. So what, Mandalorian's delayed now? I'm getting ahead of myself, but I kind of just feel like this is a, a common theme now at this point, and I just don't want that to be the case. Lucasfilm used to be such a very on-time company, I feel like, where they would say something and they would stick to the date and they would release it on that date, or they would, they would have a project they were working on and they would release the project. They wouldn't cancel it or put it on the shelf, right? So I'm annoyed, I'm frustrated, I'm happy we're getting Bad Batch anyways, I'm happy we're getting Tales of the Jedi, I'm happy we're getting Andor, but I'm not the type of guy to be like, hey, you know what, you're being fed, but when we feed you is really none of your concern, and how we feed you is none of your concern, just be happy that you're getting some food. It's like, no, dude, that's not going to fly with me, right? So I'm hoping that th this is all just speculation, and we get, you know, Bad Batch Season 2 coming in, let's say, I don't know, November, okay, at the end of Andor, or December, whatever. I just think January is a bit of a stretch, and I don't think it's uh, really necessary at all, but... Anyways, we'll see what happens. Uh, coming this Saturday, we'll probably get a lot of cool announcements, I hope. A lot of good projects, I hope. And most of all, I hope that we'll get some concrete dates that won't be changed. Because I know a lot of fans would be pretty pissed off. But at the end of the day, it's just time. So <laughs> we'll eventually get it, right? So uh, they got to figure their stuff out. And hopefully they'll let us know very soon. Thanks for watching this video and this update. Let me know what you think about it. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.